what is up guys blue boxes here host of real talk and we will be showing how to play geb in 3v3 um i'm doing this video because 3v3 is probably my favorite mode right now uh i i do a lot of conquest guides and i want to do some 3v3 guides and gameplay this will be a guide gameplay it'll just be under a 3v3 section so i hope you guys like it uh we're gonna go with geb here and Everyone loves when you pick a support and you know what you're doing in 3v3. Geb single-handedly, probably, uh, besides Bacchus, does the most damage of... And the most damage and CC and protection of every Guardian besides... Uh, I don't know who. Like, literally, he does he does well in almost every situ situation. His knock-up is crazy. That damage is crazy. His shield is crazy. His stun is really good. And his rollout lets him have a lot of movement. So I bought the Molten Fury retexture for Geb actually, because I think it's really cool. And I, I've, if you don't like Guardians, play them in 3v3. Don't build Mage, but build them like a normal build. I'll show you how to build. Um, this is how I build anyway. And um, you'll see uh, you'll see how much damage you still put out while building for your team, right? Uh, don't make the mistake of building mage when you're uh, when you're a tank. But the first item you're gonna go with, because it's right off the bat, in this case they might early invade, so maybe I should have picked up a ward. They might invade. Just be careful and run if they do. They have a way that's broken English, but they have a way better early game than us. So, what, what is this? She just bought that. That's weird. Is that how much does that cost? Seven hundred. You still have like, okay, whatever. I'm not. Um, so we're just gonna hit this, knock it up, and then I myself can check for an invade by going like this doesn't look like they are so that's good swerving around the corner the crush hits I'm gonna knock it up and let the back of Sura finish it I'm gonna see if the Scylla can uh... I just want to be by Scylla because she can get picked up really easily so I'm just gonna hit these minions knock them up a bit x is building into his which is really smart. X ball is really broken right now in 3v3. It's good. Tell them around now. Okay, that's a lot of damage. He has frostbound, obviously. Retreat. So I'm just gonna get uh, the starter to Heartward Amulet, and then go roll up to the wave. Just gonna hit these archers here, actually. And we can hit them with basics and then go back. Um, our late game is, I think, safer than theirs, and our mid game is very good. So I'm happy about our team. Okay, she's not stacking yet. We get a good knock up there. Uh, get the ray for the shield in case they go on her. Still's getting good poke. She's going right into. I hope she understands she has, she has like gold left over. One creep from five. What does that mean? Whatever. Oh, did he only get one creep of experience? Everyone doesn't do the attack speed buff right now, and that allows us to pick it up for my back of Sir. He's level 5. And he will be extremely strong once he hits... Uh, once he has his boots. So... 
Actually, gonna get level one shell here because there's gonna be a fight. Uh, we have still level five soon, and we have backup star level five. Okay. Let them know that my ultimate is ready here. I think Alkfong just did our attack speed buff. Now, a good thing to keep in mind is X-Ball's ult as a support with a targeted uh, ability such as shield. You have to really be careful. Pop the shell. Oh, I thought I got the shield off in time. I definitely... It looked like I got the shield off in time. I don't know what that was, but... Celebration Earth! Yay! I'm an Earth! <laughs> can go back and get heart word. It definitely looks like I got the shield off in time. I guess the shield doesn't block execute. We can do that really quick. So he was out of position, I know he used his dash, so that was a free kill. I'm gonna give the shield to back us so he doesn't take all that damage. And we're gonna go do right here. Scylla has red, so I'm gonna take this. I forgot, so it's. Or it still has blue, sorry. So we're just zoning them here. Yeah, look, you can see how much Shockwave does. You wanna level up your Shockwave first, it does like crazy damage in 3v3. And I think in Conquest, you also wanna level up first and ahead of your shield. And of course, level up. Um, your rollout last. Knock him away. Okay, good shockwave. Attack, actually. Like. I live because I'm a god. Oh wow, that was too bad. I didn't think he would. I thought they would have cleaned him up. Uh, retreat. I think he has blink. He has blink. Yeah, he had tower on him. That's how I lived. So that's too bad. But we still won that team fight. Oh no, we didn't. Did Alcon get out? Oh no, he died. He died. Okay. It's all good. So it was a trade, and we started the fight, so it's good to know that we can start the fight and finish it well. We got a little unlucky, but it's good to know that we can win those, so it's fine. And still is stacking, and they don't have a real big source of magical damage. Um, Alcon is actually really bad right now, in my opinion. He's very bad in 3v3, too, so. It's my opinion, of course. So. Let's get a good shockwave down. Those bullets are annoying, but they don't do much damage. I think his, yeah, his basic attack hit me for 86. Let's go over here. Yeah, he shouldn't have fought by himself. 
That sucks. These guys are getting caught. It's it's okay. Um god, X Ball's gotten three kills though. So. I'm probably gonna need to get um uh, thorn mail or whatever. Be right back. Be careful, be careful. Oh my god. This guy, uh, I have to stay the wave now. <laughs> I'm just gonna shock away the wave so I can finish it with a crush. I'm gonna go into Hide and Name and Lion, that's what it's called. And that will give me protections on X Ball and Ao Kuang. So, that's good. Because he has Kalkine's Ring, uh, I'm pretty sure that goes on Nemi and Lion's passive. So, X Ball is our biggest threat now. So I need to land some crushes on him. I'm trying to force the dash here. Yeah, yeah so I was baiting uh, the dash, trying to bait the dash. And uh, we just got see. You can see how that knock up really works with Scylla really well. He was knocked up, so he couldn't dash out, and so just did a perfect good, perfectly good ult onto him and crushed him. Honestly, he has blink. Uh, we have to remember that. I'm going to get full shell and enfeebling curse cuz X-Ball oh! can't life steal anymore. I level my shield ahead of my alt. got a good uh, fight there again. Wow. Damn it. Let's get out of this. And then I go put another point into my all here. Oh, I did I thought I had my shield finished. You can see how much damage I do though still. So that's about half health. The next fight we force, because these guys aren't turtling and they're not playing like little wissies. I'm sorry, I scratch my nose a lot. That's why I didn't record with a webcam. It's a really bad habit, but I do. It's like a nervous tick. Well, not even nervous. It's just it's just a little tick I have. So sorry about that ahead of time. I'm gonna be in Earth again. Just for a little while. Because I enjoy this. I love uh, people that don't know about it. They get so freaked out when they see it. <laughs> Try to force the jump again. 
Oh, now they're turtling like wussies. Of course. Can you last? Oh, he didn't kill himself with the beadling? That sucks. See, turtling is so fucking stupid, man. It's so fucking stupid. It's the the Bacchusura had to take 10 tower shots. Oh, it's so frustrating. These guys aren't good either. Like, it's just... oh, at least he got out. Oh, I have to build completely against X Ball. I'm gonna put. Um, I'm gonna get uh, which play to against X Ball and Outlong. Oh, he has a Dissius bow. Why Bacchusura? I like the little numbers from the minions because they still take damage from uh, whatever it's called. Okay, so I have max. Oh. Try and get in front of him here. Okay, that should be game. I'm dead. Damn. Just run. Just run, dude. That still is fucked. Oh no. No, oh, she might still be fucked. My nose is constantly itchy. I don't know why. A little nervous tick. I've had it since I was a kid, too. Um. So, what do you guys think? Soul Reaver or Void Stone? Soul Reaver might help against X Ball. But also getting. Um, Midgardian Mail might really help. Oh no, because Midgardian Mail and Witchblade don't stack, do they? So one... I can't remember what they said. Wow, he actually got out. Whatever, GG. Good game. I hope you guys liked, and I hope this helps you in the future. You can see how I don't have at like I would have bought Soul Raver as the final item, but you don't have to build um, damage to do a ton of damage as a guardian in 3v3 because guardians have a lot of scaling and or uh, not a lot of scaling, just base power. So you can see I did 9,277 damage compared to the 7,000 of his the f and the 4,000 
the 4,900 of his. So GG well played. I really hope you guys like this video. I'll be posting it today with maybe uh, another video of 3v3. So tune in for that. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.